want to give a shout out to Big Truck Big RV for this collaboration. My name is Joe from OGOB Racing. We are a professional East Coast rock crawling team. We travel all over in our crawler hauler. My wife calls it the mullet because the camper's in the front, the buggy's in the back. Other people call it Taj Mahaler, Titanic. It's got a bunch of names, but I will show you what we tow it with and what it is. Thank you. The hose for the septic goes in that white tube. There. So, if you could see, we have it mounted with rubber bushings there at all four corners, propane tanks, another one there, and then all the way down there, I'll show you on this side because it's easier because the slide out's out, there's mounts all where the axle mounts so there's two four eight ten in the center and two four six eight on the outsides so i stretched this trailer it was a 36 foot trailer i stretched it to 40 so with the ton it's 48 total it's a little long but one of the best upgrades was 17 fives these two axles are original with new brakes new hubs they're 7,000 pound axles the back one's a six but they all ride on 215 75 17 fives and so the 17 fives are 16 ply sidewalls and each of them are good for 4,805 pounds so with everything on here, hooked to my truck with fuel and everything, we're about 23, 24,000, give or take. GAWR, sorry, is 7,000 pounds. So when we were all loaded down, we were 23,220. That's the truck trailer, everything in the trailer, fuel, water, buggy, ATV. Our trailer axle weight was only 12,280 pounds. So we're way under the weight of the rear axles and 6,040. So we're almost a thousand pounds under max axle weight capacity and everything else looks good. So this is our trailer. I will go inside and show you what the inside looks like. There's not really much done on the inside. We used to haul this with this rig I'll post right here. We've had race trailers, we've towed this. I've slept in a truck cap on the back of the truck. I've tried it all besides a sliding camper. And my wife really doesn't like the smell of the buggy and the ATV. So I've always thought about doing this. So that's what transpired building this. So it's a 2017 KZ Connect C24 1BHK bunkhouse. It is an outdoor kitchen, stove, sink, fridge. We have the generator running right now, but the quad goes here, you'll see a picture. I'll post a picture the quad goes here. That's all of our nitrogen for our shocks, our torch setup. So the buggy pulls on the back. The hose goes here for the backup light. Hose goes here for the septic. So if you can see this, this is the shield, but there's a cog gear here and here. This is a Harbor Freight winch and word of advice if you do it, you have to seal this. I've already burned out one of the control boxes. 
but I can still disengage it here and use the jack handle on the other side. But basically you just turn on the keyless remote. It's a little noisy, but it's pretty quick. I do want to put a bigger gear up here, probably in the near future to make it go faster. But for now it beats jacking it up. Then over there, I've got two 30 pound propane tanks. I work for a propane weld supply store. So I got those two group 31 batteries. I use these junction boxes here all over the trailer. That way you run like one, one wire back to split off circuit breaker here, dual battery disconnect. And then there's a battery disconnect inside the camper fuse box. I still have to tidy up some of the wires, but. So here we have all of our fluids, grease, basically any consumable fluid or whatever is on in this box. We have, and tools and bolts and everything's in this box. And then in this box, we have our axle shafts and spare axle parts hoses and all fluids tools some of the tools are out of here right now nuts bolts yokes carry a lot of stuff because when we go wheeling we can break a lot so I did add the two low kit right there helps backing it up and too low that basically disconnects your front axle when you put it in four wheel drive so you have too low because we have a stick shift so the truck is a 2017 ram 3500 tradesman short bed six speed manual bare bones i wanted a bare bones truck and we put vision heavy haulers with 19.5, so the load range, if you can read that, it is single 6,000 pounds on the front, 18 ply, and then on the rear, which I have to get some new tires, are the same thin, and the rears, max load is 55.10. So we also have a B&W hitch in here, that's what this lever is for. And we also have airbags, 7,000 pound airbags. And this is always nice to get up and down. So there's not much other than that done to the truck. It hauls the trailer great. Also did a Furion wireless backup camera. That's basically just to check lanes behind us and also keep an eye on the straps on the buggy. We have a transfer flow ink, I believe, transfer tank, which I have one of these gas tanks back there, but they fit all my race jugs nice and snug. And that, sorry for the mess in the bed, that goes down to a bulkhead and then I TIG welded another fit in into my filler neck. So going down the road, this is, I believe, 45 gallons. Up the step above. Now, the reason why it's like this, we go all over. And 90% of the places we go, we boondock. So we always have to carry different boards with us because it's easier than adjusting the stairs because 90% of places that we camp, we are in a field. But you have basic, we're still racing, so it's kind of messy, but two good sized bunk beds. One of my friends and his wife come, they take the top and one takes the top, one takes the bottom. And then this folds down into a pretty big size bed. This fits two adults. And then the master bedroom back here. Two wardrobes, basically, that's it. 
and good size for refrigerator that's one of the reasons why we bought it bathroom we basically work on the buggy during race season typical RV Just need to glue that back on but the whole dire thing about this is we we found a great camper so we did it once and over with we went to probably 10 or so big RV shows I wanted to go to the Hershey one we just it's during race season so we went to the later ones we found this camper and after walking through all the other ones this checked the boxes over i'd say 90 percent of it so as long as we have a place to shower place to sleep a place to cook ac and even tv if it if it's raining uh we hardly ever watch tv unless it's raining um but it checked all the boxes so we really didn't upgrade anything on the inside the only thing I want to do on the inside is not even sure. Uh, I want to change the shower head. That's something small. It's kind of the cheap shower head. But we race all over the East Coast, sometimes out West. So we just needed something that we can leave clothes in, leave towels in leave the race stuff in it and just hook up to it after work on a Friday or Thursday night if we take off of work and just head out of town. So that's why we built this.